Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play Europa Europe Universalis 4 with me, your host, Mordaz the Red. Uh, we're going to be continuing our Brandyburg campaign. Uh, last episode we were just about to declare war on Denmark. I think that's, that's how we were going to take some stuff. Because we got a lot of people allied with a lot of friends, so we got to be very careful with how we fight stuff. So, yeah, because our I think the reason yeah we were going to go to war with Denmark, and I just realized how much of a bad idea that well they are a little on the distracted side because they are fighting they are fighting Sweden. Erg, it's hard to, it's hard to really determine. Well, let's see who would join our war against them. We could get Saxony. And while they wouldn't get Verdun, which really doesn't matter, they would get Mecklenburg. But they wouldn't get we wouldn't be able to bring in Poland at this point in time. Ugh. And if we declare Ah damn it. No, 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 no. Nope. Alright. Why can't we declare war on you? Your your ally was Saxony. And we like our friend Saxony right now. Well the Got a question. If we declare war, will Sa yeah, Saxony will join. Poland will join this. Arg. Okay. What about them? We could declare war on them. But Poland would not join. Because they actually like him. Even if I give him land. They seriously like them? Yeah, looks like they like them for some reason. Uh, well, I am gonna do a little bit of flagging here. I do want, like, do want a few of these provinces. I want those. Not gonna say I want too much, but In Saxony. Saxony won't join. Why won't Saxony join? Attitude towards en enemy in Saxon and Austria doesn't want us to go to war with them. Uh, so I think right now we're actually gonna wait a bit until we can attack Pomerania again. And get probably Poland in a war with them. Because once we get Poland in a war, we can start attacking other people. And just chain a couple wars together. At least a couple of ones that we can do really close together. So we can't. We can't declare war on them right now, but we could get Poland and Austria, Poland and Saxony into the fight here, and with them and with Saxony on our side of that war, we can then go over here and attack them, steal a province from them, and steal a province from Mecklenburg as well. So, right now we're waiting for our truces to end, and the nearest truce. Our Pomeranian truth will end in about three years. So we're going to get, get to sit around and wait, build up our reserves. Um, in the meantime, let's fabricate on bloody well everything we can. Yep. Let's see. What? Uh, let's see. Diplomat mode? Yeah, that's Diplo. Okay. So let's fabricate claim on Wiesmar. So let's go fabricate on that. And who are we current? We're, uh, we're also fabricating on Anhalt right now. Which really doesn't matter one way or the other. Is there any chance for us to be Emperor? No. No, because the Palatinate and Saxony. And for some reason, Bohemia is voting for Anhalt. It's like, what the hell? Seriously, like, there's. Saxony right now would be the Emperor. Yeah, 
and we're cur luckily we're currently allied with them, so that's that's good. That's good. All right, all right, we're gonna wait a little bit. Do we have anything building here? No. Let's let's build a couple ships. Let's build a bark there, bark there, and a bark there. It'll take forever, but. It's worth it, and Danzigian Separatists, they'll be, it'll be a while before we need to worry about them. So we're going to unpause it, let time start to tick forward. Um, one thing I do want to mention to my, my viewers, uh, I did a little math uh, for this and Crusader Kings 2, and I just realized at my current release release rate, this is going to take forever to get to do a campaign. So, what I want is your guys' opinion on whether or not I should double up how many videos I'm releasing a day. I would probably release them together. Uh, so like two, uh, two Crusader Kings at seven, at seven o'clock and two uh, EU fours at nine. I wanna know your opinion. I'm gonna post a poll on this uh, depending if you guys like it or don't. Uh, you'll see. It'll start next, not this week, but next week. So that would be like the beginning of March, I think. Somewhere around there. Um, main reasons, I, I try to compare myself, if I compare myself to anybody, I compare myself to Arumba uh, in a much smaller way, because he, he does this full time and release a crap ton of videos. But I also kind of want. I, I kind of want to I want to go th through campaigns. I want to play these games, but my current schedule it's I can't really I do I'm doing about 20 videos on all all games, and that does take time to do them all. So, like your opinion on which what you want, what you'd be interested in, whether you want to see a more drawn out campaign or if you want to see it released at a faster ra rapid rate. All right, back to the actual game. Uh, grant export licenses. When the crown could not or would not pay cash to the nobles, they would instead grant them privileges or special revenues from which they can make a heady profit. We could sell privileges. That will reduce our legitimacy by 10. Uh, give Bren uh, Bohemia's opinion may go up by 20. Uh, national tax modifier plus 20. Uh, give us uh, additional additional uh, loyalty with the nobility or lose 10 and lose 10 with the burgers or gain legitimacy piss off Bohemia gain legit gain loyalty with the burgers lose it with the other guys um, I kind of keep my trade efficiency up so that's currently at 45 so I'm not really concerned about their influence going up whole bunch uh, let's see don't really need anything what about what about them can we get anything from them we demand military support which would give us so yeah let's do that let's let's uh get ourselves some more money give us some more tax we'll lose lose a little bit of legitimacy but that's fine we're at 97 so that'll be fine so we'll do that but we'll also demand military support and boost up that um, let's see and uh, that won't be worth it that being said uh, let's see anything we want to do here no admin and we can't can't demand administrative oh we've already done it that's reason well that's fine so I don't want to be friends with Brunswick make me friends let me be friends with anybody else and I'll, I'll gladly do it yay got that all right um let's see Pomeranian succession Kohlberg at slope so I'm not really worried about that. This, 
we'll go right in 79. So we got we got plenty of time to do that. Um, I know we can't declare war on Lubeck because they're a free city, if I remember correctly. But I'm gonna still fabricate a claim on them. Actually, no, cancel that. Okay, but you on Bohemia, might as well. Yeah. Right now we're gonna wait. We're just waiting for our peace treat. And so we're gonna boost up our speed. We're gonna play on speed four for a while. Mostly because I don't wanna wait around all that much. So we're oh, it's gonna be a few years. It's gonna be a slow couple of years. Upsides, we are making money at least, which is good. Ah, we improve relations with Magdeburg. Uh, yeah. uh, plus 25, allied to rival. Uh, you know, what? let's 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 try and improve relations. Oh, can't even do it right now, so I'm not really worried about it. Who who is your rival? Rival is on halt. Well, we're not really allied. Are we allied with him? No, we're not. We're just royal married to him. So as soon as that royal marriage dies, I really don't care. That being said, it may last a while. for this to replenish. How much money are we making? We're making 4.5. That's good. I'm going to boost this up a little bit. Basically so we can get some troops into there so we don't have to worry quite as much about it. We're making some ducats. I'm gonna move him to the capital. Might as well. Danzig's doing okay. Right now we're gonna sit and uh, build up some of our stuff. So build up some of our tech. What's what's our current? Uh, Achilles is still alive. Frieder. Oh gosh, I hate that they're they're like so close together in age. It's like really. Anything we can build here that would be interesting. Uh, trade power. Let's take a look. Let's take a look around the... And Ari has a marketplace there. So, this is what? The Lubick trade node? Dang, man. We barely have any. Why not? We'll build that. We'll build a marketplace in Berlin. That's cool. Just out of curiosity, what trade? No, that's not. Trade goods. There we go. Eventually we'll want that from Bohemia. But that'll be a while. How's Magdeburg feel about us? Oh, they like us, so let's let's take that. Improve relations with Magdeburg. We'll set our attitude to friendly. We'll improve relations with you. And uh, let's do some f fabrications. Uh, let's get Konigsberg. What's our tech? Yay, let's take Diplo tech. Goes ahead seven years, which is good. 
Anytime we're ahead on tech is good. Livonian order truce is over, which is good. We're letting time tick by pretty quickly on this. So we got no reason to wait around. But as soon as our truce is up, we are declaring war and getting those things. I'm just curious, while I'm while we're waiting. What's our current troop? Ah, uh, the end of the Castilian Civil War. Aragon is in a personal union. Uh, that's interesting. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Let's get another troop in there. Let's see. Conf conflicts. Uh Conflicts and protests over taxes, corporation, corporations, trade, and custom policies are becoming quite frequent and could result in a sharp drop in our industrial production if we don't handle it, the situation carefully. We can execute them, lose the stability, or we can abolish the tax and gain loyalty. Well, we've got the extra ducats. Let's gain the loyalty. That keeps our trade efficiency nice and high. Good. Alright. Let's let time tick by quickly. Oh, let's. We've got boats! Let's send the boats out. Uh, sent the, the Lubick node. Lubick. Lubick. Still got plenty of, plenty of boats. When is our truce end? August. Good. The last jousting tournament! We can feel it in the wind. Soon our equestrian elite will be no more than a dream remembered as the chivalrous traditions dies out before the onslaught of modernity. The world is changing, but for now, one last time, let the Knights of Brandenburg ride! Forward to glory. Uh, gives us for about 20 years, gives us plus 10 morale, uh, gives us plus 1 army prestige, plus 0.5 prestige. We lose admin and lose some ducats, or we lose five prestige. No, forward on the glory. That that's worth it entirely. I'm just curious, what is our current army tradition? Yeah, and it's go and because of that it's going up by more. So that's cool. That's cool. All right, on pause. Yay. Let's get another claim. Liber Libertas Escale. The clergy has long, has long been one of the foremost pillars of Brandenburgian realm, providing not only spiritual guidance, but also administrators, judges, and diplomats for the benefit of our Prince Elector. In return of these great services, no ecclesiastical manor, monastery, or other estate pays pay taxes to the state and the temporal authorities. Do oh, and the temporal authorities do not meddle in the internal affairs of the clergy. Times grow dire, however, and the state has to cover an increasing number of expenses, suggestions that perhaps the clergy might make a voluntary contribution have not been favorably rece received. So, we make it clear that they need to contribute. We gain th 31 ducats. Uh, we lose loyalty, lose papal influence. Or we gain prestige, loyalty, and influence. 
we'll gain prestige, loyalty, and influence. And that gives us a whole bunch of stuff, including a... Including a... a stability modifier. So we can spend a hundred and boost our stability. Eh, we'll wait. We'll see if we'll see if we're lucky and get get one our own. What does the Pope Man think of us? Eh, Pope Man's cool with us. I re uh this oh can we provide more. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, we're going to recall him, since we literally cannot improve it anymore. I'll wait for our diplomat to get back. We're going to send him a gift. That, and we succeed in our mission. Yay! And now, the Pomeranian succession. Just out of curiosity, we're currently our max force limit. Who are you allied with? Oldenburg and Verden. Verden. Okay. Saxe Luxembourg. Verden. Who's the other one? Oldenburg. Oldenburg, who is allied to Munster, Pomerania, Verden, and Friesland. Okay. No one we really care about. So. Let us boost our maintenance up. Because we're going to need to be at full maintenance when this war starts. In fact, I'm going to move him over here. Once we get to July, I'm going to slow down the speed. But, we will start that war at the beginning of the next episode. As always, comment and critique in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. And as always, thank you very much for watching.